Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Proverbs with Paul in the afternoon. This lovely, lovely day. Just the right temperature for me. Proverbs chapter 2, verse 22. It's the last verse in chapter 2. But the wicked, says Solomon, will be cut off from the land and the treacherous will be uprooted from it. So he says, so the wicked, the wicked. And who are the wicked? The wicked are those who delight in doing evil. They invent new ways to do the wrong thing. It gives them incredible blessing to cause harm and destruction. In fact, the wicked are known as those who rejoice in the sufferings of others. And the scripture tells us that it's the wicked that will be sent into that burning sulfurous pit deep, deep down. So the wicked are going to hell and the wicked will be uprooted from the land, meaning that they won't be allowed to live in the land. They won't be able to stay in the land. Now, the land is that place where things grow. The land is a place where things live. The land is a place where things that are good can happen. But Solomon says the wicked will be uprooted from the land, meaning they'll be pulled up. They'll think that they have the right to be there because they've sent down roots. They think that they will never be overcome. They think that there is no accountability for the wrongdoings that they do. But they are unaware that one day the great judgment will come and the judge of all things will undertake upon them retribution for all of their wicked deeds. People have lost sight of the revelation of the fear of God in these days. People think that they're allowed to say and do and get away with anything that they're not caught. But the reality is they're not. One day, everything that every single one of us has done will be assessed in the courts of heaven. And each one of us will have to give an account of everything that we've done regarding wrongdoing. Now, those who are Christians have put their trust in Jesus to deliver them from those wrongdoings. God in Jesus sent his word and spilt his blood to redeem us from that judgment where the wicked will be punished. And Solomon is saying here that they will be uprooted uh, because they are treacherous and they will, in effect, be no more. Wow, that's serious stuff. Have a great day, the rest of it. Be blessed and I'll see you tomorrow afternoon. Thank you for joining me.